What's up guys, Jay here, and welcome back to another video. I set the mood a little bit because it's Valentine's Day. But let's be real, the best day, like the actual best day, is the day after Valentine's Day because that's when you get all the chocolate for half the price. So, very excited for that. But yeah, that's, that's besides the point. I'm single, which is not why I'm making this video, but I'm single. And I know a whole lot of other people are too on this fine day. And I just want to let you know that that's okay. Me personally, I'm not a fan of Valentine's Day. I do understand that for people, they use this as like a big day to plan something special for their partner. And then they go do that on this special day. But maybe that's just the person that I am. If I want to plan something for my baby and show her how much I love her and appreciate her, Valentine's Day is every day because tomorrow isn't promised. So if I just really want to show her how much she means to me, I'm just going to do that. And I don't need Valentine's Day for that. Really, all that gives Valentine's Day a meaning is the meaning that we give it. And that's it. So I think now you understand how I personally feel about Valentine's Day. But if you wanna celebrate Valentine's Day and you love it so much and you wait for it every year and or maybe you've waited for a Valentine's Day where you actually have someone by your side, you go do your thing. I'm not hating, I'm just saying. But I also understand that not everyone thinks and feels the same way as me about Valentine's Day and there are people who are feeling a little sad today. Which is why I'm making this video. Because this video is for the people who feel sad on Valentine's Day because they feel lonely. First of all, I just wanna say, your worth as a human being is not measured by a partner. So many people are in relationships simply to not feel lonely. And as fucked up as it sounds, I used to be one of those people. A factor of why I got into my last relationship was because I was feeling lonely and I was trying to fill a void that I should have filled up myself. Because not only are you wasting your own time with somebody who's probably not for you, but you're also wasting another person's time and not just their time, you also hurt their feelings. Relationships are commitments. You want to grow together. And also you'd want to make each other become the best version of yourself, not just for your partner, but also for yourself. What you and I probably really want is for someone to stick with us, not just through our ups, but especially through our downs. Someone you can be vulnerable with and open up to without being afraid of getting hurt or taken advantage of because some people do that shit and that's not cool but so many relationships are not that so many relationships are toxic some even abusive but people stay together simply because people don't know who they are without another person by their side so this valentine's day i invite you to get to know yourself a little bit better because there's no relationship that's more important in your life than the one you have with yourself because everything starts and ends with you. How you love yourself is how you teach another person to love you. So today, we are dating ourselves. That love you're looking for in another person, give it to yourself. And it doesn't matter what that looks like. Like, make yourself dinner take a bath, do something to get closer to your dreams, clean your room because you've been putting it off for way too long, make your bed. As ridiculous as it might sound, hold yourself and cry out everything that is still stuck inside of you that is ready to leave and that you should be letting go of. To heal your inner wounds that are still left. You are whole as you are. You are love and you are love. Also, when your person comes around, it won't matter how many Valentine's days you've missed. All that's going to matter is the days 
you now get to spend with each other. Plus, plus, I love you. And I hope this video made you feel a little bit better. So if that's the case, that is awesome. And if not, I still love you. So can't really do much about it. If you want to stick around, just hit the subscribe button down below, leave a like, leave a comment, and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.